The dish that I'm going to do is a Latin spice crusted grilled mahi mahi with uh, grilled avocado and pineapple salsa. And this is a dish that's uh, popular at the East Coast Grill and kind of inspired by my travels. You know, I mean, any beach you go to, you see there's a long standing tradition of grilling and seafood. So, and uh, I think some people find it difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. First thing we'd like to do with grilling is we want to figure out we have a nice hot grill. Um, so we hold our hand over it. I try to hold it about a beer can off the grill and it should be very hot for fish. So it's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. If it's three to five, that's we call that medium hot and five to seven is medium. So having the right temperature is uh, very important. A lot of people feel like grilling seafood is uh, complex and difficult. If you follow my three main seafood grilling rules, you, you won't have any problems. So the number one is the clean hot grill. Number two is to lightly oil the fish. And what this does is this helps um, form a crust so the fish doesn't stick. And then we're gonna use a little salt and pepper and a little, um, this is Latin spice rub. This is a mixture of cumin, coriander, chilies, a little paprika and a little cayenne pepper. And the third trick to grilling seafood is once you place it on the grill, don't fool with it. So we put it down on the grill, leave it in one space for two or three minutes. And what that allows for is a, a cauterization or a sear to develop between the, uh, the grid and the fish and that'll facilitate the turning. Right, we've got a nice ripe avocado that goes right down on it. And I like to leave the fish or the meat or whatever I'm grilling on one side until it gets the proper sear. Because you have one chance to get that sear. And we see we have that nice sear on this side. And that brown represents flavor. That's concentrated flavor. Sometimes in the restaurant when we have the bigger fish, we like to cover them with a pie pan and that kind of facilitates quick, quick cooking. But in this case, we have this neat grill. So we're gonna just put the lid down and that's going to help it go a little bit quicker. One of the things we try to teach cooks in the restaurant is how to test for doneness. We call it the uh, nick, peak, and cheat method where you actually kind of look in the interior. Now with mahi-mahi, when fish cooks, it becomes opaque. So it starts translucent and it turns to opaque. So while we look inside here, we're just going to kind of manipulate this fish and take a look inside and we're looking for complete almost complete opacity. And if you can see there, it's pretty clear that there's still a great deal of translucence. So we need some more time. All right, let's check it out and see how we're doing here. That thing is looking done to me from my expert eye, but we're also gonna do the check for doneness because we wanna make sure it's done. So we look inside. Oh, and we see perfect. So it's nice and juicy. It's not overcooked and maybe just a hint of translucence. I know some people are, it's popular these days to cook uh, a little medium rare on fish, but I like my fish just cooked through. So then we have the beautiful avocado grilled and we're gonna put our salsa on the side just cause we've worked so hard to make that fish hot in temperature. We don't wanna take it away. And we're gonna squeeze the lime right over the fish and there you have it. That's uh, Latin crusted grilled mahi-mahi with pineapple salsa and a grilled avocado.